Avoid this mistake if you want inner peace and a life filled with wisdom. In our noisy world, we often forget the power of silence. But what if the times we choose not to speak were just as important as the times we do? Today, we're diving into the ancient wisdom of Stoicism and exploring how strategic silence can transform your life. From handling criticism to dealing with anger, rumors and even injustice, these timeless principles from Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers will guide you toward a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Imagine navigating life's challenges with calm confidence, where your silence speaks louder than words. Intrigued? Let's embark on this journey together and uncover the nine key situations where embracing silence is not only smart, but life-changing. Situation number one, when being criticized unfairly. In our busy, noisy world, silence is often overlooked, but its power is undeniable. Picture this, you're at work, leading a project that you've poured your heart and soul into. Suddenly, your boss criticizes your work harshly and you feel your blood boiling. It's unfair and you want to lash out, defend yourself and set the record straight. But what if, instead of reacting, you chose silence? According to Stoic philosophy, being unfairly criticized is a unique chance to become stronger and show integrity. Marcus Aurelius once said, if something outside of you bothers you, it's not the thing itself that's hurting you, but how you think about it. He believed that you could change how you think about something at any time. The wisdom here is profound. When criticized unfairly, the criticism itself isn't what hurts us, it's our perception of it. By staying silent, you give yourself the power to control your response, to look at the feedback objectively and to find useful insights while ignoring the negativity. Imagine the strength in calmly reviewing your boss's feedback, finding areas of improvement and letting your work speak for itself. This approach not only keeps your peace, but also preserves your professional honor. It's a strategy rooted in the stoic principle of focusing on what we can control, our responses and attitudes. Think back to a time when you faced unfair criticism. How did you react? What if you had chosen silence instead? Reflecting on these moments can be enlightening. By incorporating stoic silence into our daily lives, especially when unfairly criticized, we align ourselves with a philosophy that values the strength of character over the temporary approval of others. This promotes personal growth and inspires those around us to do the same. Situation number two, stoic silence in the middle of boasts. Now, let's shift to another scenario. Imagine you're at a networking event surrounded by peers a co-worker starts bragging about their recent raise and their fancy new lifestyle. It's tempting to counter their bravado with your own accomplishments to engage in a battle of egos. But Stoicism teaches us the power of restraint. Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, believed that it's better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. This wise saying underscores the importance of silence. When faced with boasts, choosing quiet, allows you to keep your cool and let others reveal their true selves through their words. It's a strategic silence that protects your honor and projects confidence. Instead of engaging in one-upmanship, acknowledge their achievements with a nod or a smile. This practice not only saves your energy for deeper, more meaningful conversations, but also demonstrates your self-assuredness. By embracing stoic quiet in the middle of boasts, you live a life not marked by competition, but by genuine self-worth. Reflect on a time when you found yourself in a similar situation. How did you respond? What might have happened if you had chosen to listen quietly? This approach fosters an environment of peace and success based on your own inner values rather than comparative measures. Situation number three, when dealing with anger. Anger can feel like a wild storm, sweeping away reason and calm. 
But in the midst of this storm, Stoic philosophy offers a sanctuary, a moment of silence to deal with strong emotions. Picture this. A co-worker's mistake causes you hours of extra work. Your first instinct might be to lash out in anger, but what if you chose silence instead? Epicurus, a renowned Stoic figure, advised keeping quiet most of the time and only speaking when necessary. By not reacting in anger, you give yourself time to think objectively about the situation. This pause can prevent conflicts from escalating and lead to constructive solutions. Think about how often reacting quickly in anger has led to regret. Marcus Aurelius, another well-known Stoic, wrote, How much worse are the results of anger than the things that made us angry? This thought-provoking insight reminds us that the effects of an angry outburst often outweigh the original cause of anger. Consider the story of Nelson Mandela, who, despite years of imprisonment, chose forgiveness over anger. His decision not only improved his own life, but also led a country towards reconciliation. Using silence when angry doesn't mean suppressing your feelings, it means choosing a response that aligns with your best self. This practice improves your own peace and leads to better relationships and a more successful life. Reflect on your experiences with anger. How might a pause, a moment of silence, have changed the outcome? Embracing stoic silence can transform your approach to daily frustrations, turning them into opportunities for growth and inner peace. Situation number four. Silence in the middle of false rumors. Rumors can spread like wildfire, causing harm and confusion. Stoic philosophy offers a powerful response, silence. Imagine a teacher in a small town, wrongly accused of misconduct. As rumors spread, the teacher chooses not to add fuel to the fire by denying or explaining what happened. Instead, she relies on her integrity to stand firm. This silence is not a passive surrender, but a strategic choice based on wisdom. Marcus Aurelius said, you hold power over your thoughts, not over outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. By refusing to comment, the teacher lets the community's initial excitement die down. In time, the truth becomes her defense. Reflect on a time when you faced false rumors. How did you respond? How might silence have changed the situation? Stoicism teaches that focusing on what we can control our reactions, rather than trying to stop the spread of rumors, can be profoundly empowering. Consider the words of Epictetus. If someone says bad things about you, you should always compliment them. This counterintuitive approach suggests that responding to negativity with positivity or silence can diffuse unproductive interactions. Practicing stoic silence in the face of false rumors can help you maintain your peace and integrity, allowing the truth to prevail naturally. Situation number five, how to deal with loss. Loss is a universal human experience, often leaving us with a void filled with sadness and confusion. Stoicism offers a unique way to cope with pain. Imagine the silence that follows a major loss a loved one, a job, or a significant opportunity. It's overwhelming, and the silence can be deafening. But Stoicism teaches us to embrace this silence as a space for reflection and growth. Consider the words of C.S. Lewis, who wrote about his grief after losing his wife in A Grief Observed. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. This perspective aligns with Stoic beliefs that our experiences are part of a larger natural flow of life, where loss and love are intertwined. Seneca, a famous Stoic philosopher said, the day we fear as our last is but the birthday of eternity. This profound thought suggests that our response to loss can transform our understanding of life's fragility and beauty. By accepting the silence that comes after loss, we give ourselves the time and space to heal. Reflect on your own experiences with loss. 
How did you cope? How might the stoic practice of reflective silence have helped you? Silence after a loss isn't about hiding or denying what happened. It's about allowing yourself to process your feelings deeply, to find meaning beyond the immediate pain. Think about how you've dealt with losses in the past. How could the stoic practice of reflective silence help you in future times of grief? How might this method change not only your own healing, but also the healing of those around you? Sharing your thoughts and experiences can be a powerful way to connect and grow together. Situation number six, navigating ignorance with stoic grace. Have you ever encountered someone whose actions reflect ignorance, but who speaks with unwavering conviction? It's a frustrating situation, but also a golden opportunity to practice patience and grace. Imagine you're at a family gathering and a relative starts passionately defending a completely incorrect piece of information. Your first impulse might be to correct them, to argue, to set the record straight. But what if you chose silence instead? Galileo, the famous scientist who championed heliocentrism during a time when geocentrism was widely accepted, often faced fierce opposition and ignorance. Despite this, he maintained his dignity and dedication to the truth, often choosing to remain silent in the face of ignorance. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wisely said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When you encounter ignorance, choosing silence isn't about surrendering. It's about understanding that you can only control your response, not the beliefs of others. Reflect on a time when you faced ignorance. How did you react? What if you had chosen silence? Galileo's silence wasn't a sign of weakness, but a testament to his integrity and belief in the truth. By focusing on your actions and accepting that others' beliefs are beyond your control, you cultivate inner peace and long-term respect. Think about how silence can be a graceful response to ignorance in your own life. How might this approach improve your relationships and your own well-being? Embrace the wisdom of stoic silence, turning potentially frustrating situations into opportunities for inner peace and personal growth. Situation number seven, how to deal with rumors. Rumors can spread rapidly, causing harm and confusion. Imagine hearing whispers about yourself at work or in your community, the stories getting louder and more damaging. Your instinct might be to confront the rumors, to defend yourself vigorously. But Stoicism offers a different approach. Silence. Think of a community leader dedicated to protecting the environment. False rumors start to circulate about her personal gain from her advocacy. Instead of addressing each rumor, she chooses to stay focused on her work, embodying the Stoic principle of focusing on what you can control. Marcus Aurelius said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. By refusing to engage with the rumors, she lets her actions speak louder than any words. Over time, her consistent integrity and dedication become her defense. Reflect on your experiences with rumors. How did you respond? What might have happened if you had chosen silence? Stoicism teaches that by not reacting to rumors, you maintain your peace and integrity. It's a powerful strategy that allows the truth to emerge naturally. Epictetus advised, if someone says bad things about you, you should always compliment them. This counterintuitive advice suggests that responding to negativity with positivity or silence can diffuse unproductive interactions. Practicing stoic silence in the face of rumors helps you stay calm and focused, letting your life and actions speak for themselves. Situation number eight. When confronted with injustice, life is often unfair and dealing with injustice can be incredibly challenging. Imagine being passed over for a promotion you deserved or witnessing a friend being treated unfairly. 
your first reaction might be to protest loudly, to fight the injustice head on. But Stoicism offers a different path. Consider Nelson Mandela, who fought against apartheid in South Africa. Despite being imprisoned for 27 years, he emerged advocating for peace and reconciliation rather than revenge. Mandela's choice to focus on healing and unity rather than retaliation embodies the stoic principle of responding to injustice with grace and strategic silence. Marcus Aurelius wrote, the best way to get back at someone who has hurt you is not to be like them. This wisdom teaches us that reacting to injustice with anger or vengeance only perpetuates the cycle of harm. Instead, choosing silence and thoughtful action can lead to meaningful change. Reflect on a time when you faced injustice. How did you react? What might have happened if you had chosen a stoic approach? By embracing stoic silence, you maintain your inner peace and prepare for constructive action. It's about keeping your dignity and using calm to inspire thoughtful solutions. Consider how adopting this approach can transform your life. How might it change your response to daily challenges and larger injustices? Embracing stoic silence can lead to a more peaceful and successful life, fostering a spirit of resilience and inner strength. Situation number nine. How to handle insults with stoic wisdom. Insults can sting deeply, often provoking an immediate defensive reaction. Imagine you're at a social event and someone makes a cutting remark about you. Your instinct might be to fire back, to defend your honor. But stoicism teaches us a more powerful response. Silence. Epictetus, a stoic philosopher said, if someone succeeds in provoking you, realize that your mind is complicit in the provocation. This profound insight suggests that we have the power to choose our reaction. By choosing silence, you deny the insult power over you. Consider Mahatma Gandhi, who faced numerous insults and resistance in his fight for Indian independence. Instead of responding with anger, he embraced non-violence and strategic silence. His calm, silent strength not only diffused his opponents, but also garnered widespread respect and support. Reflect on a time when you were insulted. How did you react? What might have happened if you had chosen silence? Choosing not to react to insults allows you to act with purpose rather than impulsiveness. It's a powerful practice that keeps you calm and projects a sense of leadership and control. Think about how this approach can improve your interactions. How might it change the dynamics of your relationships and your own peace of mind? Embracing stoic silence in the face of insults can transform your life, helping you maintain dignity and strength in challenging situations. As we've explored these nine pivotal moments to embrace silence, it's clear that the wisdom of stoicism offers profound lessons for navigating life's challenges. From dealing with unfair criticism and boasting to managing anger, rumors, and injustice, the power of silence can transform your approach and bring you inner peace. By incorporating these stoic principles into your daily life, you align yourself with a philosophy that values strength of character and thoughtful action over impulsive reactions. Drop a 100 if you've watched this far. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start. If you're serious about changing your life, make sure to join our channel by subscribing. Together, we can continue to explore the deep, transformative teachings of Stoicism and apply them to our everyday lives. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.